When in Nashville, Frank and Jeannie Oakley, along with Willie, invite you to stop by the Willie Nelson General Store and Museum across from Opryland Hotel and in downtown Nashville on historic 2nd Avenue. obliged to you there, Teddy. I was just tell, uh, kidding about you sounding like Sonny. I, I, know I agree you were. with you. You sound like Grady Martin. Oh. Huh? Mm -hmm. Chet Adkins? No. Leslie? Listen, those people ain't ever going to speak to you again. You know that, don't you? That's all right. They, they're good friends of mine. They know I'm just joking. But when I introduce this be. young lady here, I'm not telling any joke. I'm serious about it. The nation's number one, Miss Country Music herself, Loretta Lynn. Make her welcome. <laughs> right. He don't love me anymore And I'll have to let him go You say you're gonna take him Oh, but I don't think you can Cause you ain't woman enough To take my man He's in 
in love with me Well, I don't know where that leaves you Oh, but I know where I stand And you ain't woman enough to take my man To take my man <laughs> What did you say? I said don't say anything about my socks. <laughs> well <laughs> Where'd you get them? I ain't gonna tell. No, you gotta I tell. I borrowed them. From Teddy? No, eh. <laughs> well, where'd you get them? You said I your socks. Are you talking about your hoes? Well, everybody's seen Jane Dowden's name on, you know, when they roll the little things of who. Right. The yeah, okay. Producer and yeah. The director and Well, it's her mother that's upstairs. Mm -hmm. She does all, she takes care of this show. Right. And I borrowed him off from her. How come? <laughs> how come you to borrow him? Well, because I needed a pair of socks. <laughs> they're wrinkling just a little bit. Well, they are? Yeah. Well, we're not going to pay attention to the wrinkles in your socks, Loretta. I want to... <laughs> I want to... Yeah, look how wrinkled my britches are. Teddy said it looked like that I'd been sleeping in them. And these are not my pajamas. These are britches. I got a pocket there. Well, you don't have to tell me. I know they're britches. I have a comb in my pocket. Who is our special guest this week, Loretta? Can I tell everybody who our special guest is? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'd like to say that I don't think that me and my mother is the only fans that this fella has because me and my mother is, I'll say, the greatest. Now, somebody may... You're talking about you're the greatest fans of our special guest? Yes. Okay. He is... <laughs> We're the greatest fans of our special guest, but I'd like to say that he has many millions of them. Yeah, I well, agree maybe with that you. don't say it. Uh, I haven't said it right, but he has millions of fans. But I'm his greatest fan, and my mother's his greatest fan. And he's the greatest bluegrass singer in the whole world, and I don't care who knows it. It's Bill Monroe. Oh, I see. Uh huh. Well, all right, my friends, you'll meet Bill Monroe right after this message. Hi folks, this is Willie Nelson inviting you to tune in to RFD TV each week to see the very best in classic country performances from the Porter Wagner Show, Wilburn Brothers Show, Pop Goes the Country, Country Carnival, and other selections from my video library. And keep those letters and emails coming as we love hearing from you. And it's great to hear that you are enjoying these broadcasts as much as we are in bringing these shows into your home. It's television like it used to be, and still is, right here on RFD TV. When I grow up, I think I'll work with computers. Yeah, my dad does that. Or maybe manage money and run a business. My dad does that too. Or know all about the weather. Like my dad? Or work with chemistry or biology. That's dad. Or the environment, caring for the land, forests, and water. Just like my dad. Maybe make sure everyone has enough to eat. My dad does all that. What does your dad do? He's a Tennessee farmer. A farmer? Cool! Mr. Secretary, thank you from RFD-TV for allowing us to air the first Farm Bill Forum live at our studios. The Secretary wanted to listen to your comments, and he did. An overflow crowd was on hand to witness history as RFD-TV hosted this live event that captured the participation of agricultural producers from Tennessee and surrounding states. Add to this our national audience who called in to participate by phone during this historic broadcast. We look forward to working with the Secretary and the USDA staff. And thanks to our viewers for making this such a great day. One night, my little pot around me. The 
on the corner of Cherry and Pine. On her face there was beauty of nature. Entwined in a blue velvet band We stroll down the street together In my pocket she placed her small hand She planted the evidence on me The girl in the blue velvet band I heard the scream of the siren For a diamond that was worth ten grand At night when bedtime was ringing For stealing God knows I'm an innocent man But the guilty one Now she lies dying The girl in the blue velvet bed I'll be out in New Year And I'm leaving And I'll carry the name of a man That served 10 years in prison For the girl in Road again. 
How can you support the family farmer and at the same time reduce America's dependence on foreign oil? Hi folks, this is Willie Nelson with a suggestion that you try a tank of biodiesel today. I use it in my cars, my buses, and I'm a firm believer in using renewable fuels that are better for our environment. And if you live in Central Texas, I invite you to stop in the Carl's Corner Truck Stop. It's near my old hometown of Abbott, Texas, and ask Carl for a tank of Bio Willie. And for those of you in other areas of the country, just visit the biodiesel.org website to find a biodiesel location near you or encourage your local filling stations to start carrying biodiesel soon. Biodiesel is good for you, good for your family, our environment, our country, and the American farmer. It just makes good sense. For more information, you're welcome to go to my own website at www.wnbiodiesel.com. Fill her up with biodiesel. You'll be glad you did. Next time you're out in the country and you look across a field and you see a stretch of trees and bushes and natural grasses protecting a stream or a wetland, it's all right to say a little thank you to a farmer or rancher who obviously cares about clean water, soil conservation, and healthy fish and wildlife populations. Next time you're out in the country, you might remember that we depend on privately owned working lands for much more than the food we eat. That's why it's so important to support the efforts of farmers and ranchers who are using conservation buffers to protect our soil, water, and wildlife. You see, conservation is a shared responsibility, a shared opportunity. And if we do our part, well, we can count on nature to take care of the rest. A message from the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service and the National Conservation Buffer Initiative. Attention cattle producers, circle Monday, August 15th on your calendar for a special RFD TV live program when our guests will be representatives from Mario Sure Health, taking your phone calls about preconditioning programs to improve your bottom line of your cattle operation. A distinguished panel of industry experts will be assembled. Learn how to maximize your profit opportunities by creating value throughout the beef production chain. It's one hour live with industry experts, sponsored by Mariel and Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica. It all starts at 8 Eastern. Join us, won't you? We have a foursome on our hymn for today because when Loretta found out that we asked her to help us out on O Come Angel Band, she said, that's not fair, two Arkansas years against one Kentuckian. So she said, you're going to have to get Bill Monroe over here. He's from Kentucky, and it'll be two Kentuckians and two Arkansas years. So Bill Monroe is going to join us on our hymn, O Come Angel Band. sun is sinking fast, my race is nearly run, my strongest trials now are past, my triumph is begun. Oh. The dew on Jordan's backs, the crossing must be near.
<laughs> you talk about the bottom of falling out, as Tex would say. What was the name of that, Hal? The preacher. The what? The preacher. The preacher? Yes, you should know that. It's real nice. <laughs> A good job from you and Buddy Spiker, Lester Leslie, and Buddy. Thank you, fellas. Glad to know all of you are awake. I see Mr. Bruce Lurkey standing over here, he and his wife, and, and uh, his baby standing over there. That's the uh, director oh, of the Loretta Lynn. There. Oh, his mama's there too? Yes, I did not. Sing him a song, Loretta Williams. Well, I like have to have a, Teddy over I'm here to play cue, the rhythm. I'm getting a cue that says we got to hurry. Well, let's get on All with right, it. Let's get on with it, boys. Loretta Lynn, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, hit me a chord. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm the other woman. But you gave him the right to seek that other woman And we know who was first to cheat on who I just accepted love from him you never wanted The other woman didn't steal from you <laughs> Nelson and friends on Labor Day on RFD TV. Be sure to tune in on Labor Day for a very special program. Due to your many requests, on Monday, September 5th, Labor Day, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern, we'll rebroadcast the Willie Nelson and Friends four hour concert from the July Grand Opening in Carl's Corner, Texas. That's 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central on Labor Day. There'll be no rebroadcast of this fine program, so don't miss it. Call up your friends and neighbors and join us on Labor Day. Uh, hi, I'm the Mean Farmer. This week on the Mean Farmer Show, well, the show is sort of a family theme to it. Uh, I'm here at the auger looking for my cousin Easel's stuff. Well, I know you'd figure that Easel would be here looking for it himself since it's his thumb, but he already rushed into town to the coffee shop to show off for a while. Yeah, I bet he's spilled three, four cups of coffee already, you know, trying to pick him up. Oh, oh, he'll get the hang of it by next week's pancake feed. Hey, come here, Louise. Come here, Louise. How you doing? That's Louise Mandrell, Wonder Farm Dog, my personal pet. And, uh, oh, Louise, fetch. <laughs> oh, see you this week on the show. Wait a minute. That, Louise, that's easy as thumb. Thinking of you, my darling, and of the day we first met, and those words, sweetheart, that you told me, I'm sure I'll never forget. Oh, someday, sweetheart, when you're lonely.
me You always would love me And no one could ever come between But it seems to me you've forgotten All the things you once told me Oh, some days we are when you're lonely That's fine. Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys. Who's this old boy over here? That's helping? James Monroe. Uh, James Monroe? Yes, sir. Is he any kin to you? Yes, sir. He's my son. I thought he was your father. <laughs> <laughs> Doyle, uh, the boy, the man with the fiddle here is Kenny Baker. You know, he's a Kentucky. Yes, right. And with the bass fiddle to Joe Stewart. Uh huh. That's wonderful. Real great. Bill, I understand that uh, the festival that you have every year up at Bean Blossom uh, has been real successful. That's right. We, we draw some big crowds up there, though. You have this every year, right? Yes, sir. The, and the coming year of 1971 is going to start on uh, June the 14th. June 14th. And it goes through the June the 20th. That's wonderful. It'll be seven days of it. That's at Bean Blossom. Bean Blossom, Indiana. I certainly hope that I'm off so I can come up because I know I would enjoy it, too. I would like to have you. Bill, I want to thank you for coming by to see us. Thank you. It's good to be on your show. Come back anytime. Friends, we got to go. For Loretta Lynn and the Wilburn Brothers, Bill Monroe, bye. See you next week. Hi, this is Willie Nelson. You're watching RFD TV, uh, agriculture's most important network, the friend of the family farmer. Stay tuned. From Opry Land in Nashville, this is Ralph Emery with. Hi,